Hi, this is Ty. In this video, I'll show you a quick and easy way to create this effect in Photoshop. Before we start, please download the materials used in this tutorial from the link in the description. Also, make sure to set your canvas size the same way as shown here. If you use the same size, you'll be able to recreate the effect exactly like mine. First, place the image you want to apply this effect to on your artboard. Then, go to the top menu and select Filter, then Blur, and choose Gaussian Blur. Adjust the blur until the background looks softly diffused. Once the blur is applied, click the round icon at the bottom right of the Layers panel and add a Gradient Map Adjustment layer. You can also find a link to download free gradient maps in the description. Now choose a gradient that fits your style. When choosing, make sure the middle color is slightly darker and the edges are brighter. For example, I'm using this gradient here. At this point, the image should look something like this. Next, let's add a levels adjustment to bring out more contrast. The shortcut key is Command plus L on Mac or Control plus L on Windows. Move the black and white sliders slightly toward the center to strengthen the contrast. Make small adjustments until it matches your desired look. Next, let's adjust the overall color tone. You can add another gradient map or add a hue and saturation adjustment layer instead. Move the sliders to achieve the color tone you like. Now let's finish by adding the star effect. This step is very simple. Drag the star image above the image layer and place it on top. Change the blending mode to multiply. Then go again to the top menu, choose filter, then blur and select Gaussian blur once more. Apply a light blur so that the stars blend smoothly into the background. After adding the blur, let's balance the brightness and contrast using levels. The shortcut key is Command plus L on Mac or Control plus L on Windows. Move the slider slightly until it looks right. Adjust both the blur amount and the levels together to get your ideal look. Once everything feels balanced and the stars are placed nicely, the effect is complete. And with that, design is complete. How was it? Pretty easy, right? Subscribe for more creative tutorials. You'll find me on Instagram and TikTok and my posters are available for purchase too. All the links are in the description. Thanks for watching. See you next week.